Aisha. Today is obviously not a public holiday. Come on, Good the headmaster told us to come and find out if there is any hope of Binta coming to school soon. The exams begin tomorrow. I'll say the exams will be tomorrow. Binta. Thank you. Thank you for coming. How are you? How is class today? Tatabinda, welcome back. Thank you. A good day to you guys. A good day to you. Good day, mother. Good day to you, Tungabo. Are you in some trouble at school? Mom. They need some things. That's why we are here. Girls, aren't you late for school? They had come to check on Binta. And the headmaster said... Oh, tell Mr. Headmaster that Binta will be coming back to school when my next bricks are sold off. I don't have the money yet. In fact, Gabo has been also sent back home. But you just paid his fees last week. The teacher said I have to have a geometry set if I'm to set a foot in his classroom. So? Can you please go to Mama Nadim and... Unless you pay up the outstanding debt, don't expect me to borrow from her again on your behalf. Merida. Merida. My bricks will be backed by the end of tomorrow and we are selling instantly. Of course I'll pay. Our son is the only hope. He has to get the best education. Yeko Sofat Kaseja, my husband and father of my children, I'm not borrowing any money for you again. To your own friends. Ah. Good day to you, Father. Good day to you too, my dear. Did you let me in this <laughs> Yes, Father. I was planning to bring it to you at the site with your lunch. Okay. I'll be waiting. Okay. Hey, and where are you heading off now? I finished the basket and I'm taking it to him. Him? Mr. Otim, the headmaster, he said that he will take the basket in exchange for my school fees. Beautiful. Thank you, Father. Take this to Mr. Tim and ask him to give you a geometry set. Tata Binta. That is Binta's effort. She made it for her purpose. And her brother needs a geometry set. He has to keep in school to earn this household a degree. Binta too deserves to get a degree.
a woman's degree is in her marriage. In fact, you are testimony to that. But you have been unfair to her. Life has never been fair. Don't worry, my lovely daughter. You'll definitely earn your degree very soon. A lovely marriage is all you need in this world. Why waste time in school when you're going to end up in a man's kitchen anyway? <laughs> I know it's every woman's dream to get married to a respectable man. I promise to make that dream come true for you, my lovely daughter. you have done for us is worth more than this, but But mother, I don't want to go to the city. Stop it at once. Penina is doing us a favor. How many households has she passed to choose you? But me, I want to be a doctor. Binta, <clears throat> with this job, you're going to be able to make real money. And you live your dream, just like I'm living mine. She's going to the land of dresses. <laughs> Binta, this is Lamborghini. Next to you is Ferrari and Subaru. Is it going to be running all the time? BMW, your questions are senseless. Let's get moving. Everyone for herself. And all of us for Penina. But you told father that I'll be seated in a shop selling clothes. 
you didn't talk about hawking and running. Enough. This is reality. You either go on and do as I said and get yourself a life or find your way back to the village because I won't sit here and be disrespected. Clear? Clear. You're like a sister to me. this girl? Am I supposed to know her? Why on earth would I know a, a, a street kid or a pickpocketer? We found her selling illegal drugs in this guise of second-hand clothes. What? She told us you are the owner of the drugs she's talking. <laughs> Me? Young girl. Have we met before? <laughs> Madam, can we have a look at your ID, please? Young girl, this is Dr. Nagadia Olivia. Where is the penny that you are talking about? We are sorry, madam. Penina! Penina, don't go! Penina, please! Penina! Penina, please! Penina! Penina! I slept in the police cell for days. I swear, I believe you, and good enough that female officer believed in your story and let you go. So stop crying now. <laughs> if he insists on marrying me off to Abdu, I'll kill myself. I swear, everything is going to be fine. <laughs> I want to speak to Mr. Tim, the headmaster. Of course, he will do nothing about this. Together with the village chairman, they'll help me change his decision. Being her, father might be murdered. Binta! Binta, please! Can we have a word with you, Mr. Kasaija? Mr. Chairman, in case you didn't notice, I have work to do. And if I'm done with it, I'm not going to get down. So if you don't mind, get, go ahead and state what has brought you here. Are you here to place another for bricks? 
No. The headmaster wants to talk to you about... Gentlemen, take note that in case of any accident, trespassers are not compensated in this sense. It's about Binta. You are here to ask for my approval to marry her? Come to think of it, you won't be a bad husband for her. Come to my home on Sunday so we can discuss the bride price. I'm open to negotiation. Actually, I wanted us to... Of course you don't expect me to give her to you for free. Or on credit, Mr. Oti. You fool headmaster. Abdul here has promised me five cows. So stop wasting my valuable time. The school is offering her a scholarship so she can sit her final exam. And what if you don't have anything to do, don't try to find it here. We don't need any money from you. All we want is your consent, period. By not giving her a chance at education, you are depriving her of a bright future and... Uh... Gentlemen, I'm very sure Ngabo is not among the children you sent back home for any missing school requirements. But both your children deserve our equal opportunity to education. Beta is getting married to a man I deem suitable. Be it Abdul or another man who can provide her with a good life. That includes taking good care of her children and her dear parents. But having both of them educated will save you from this hassle you call a job. You will live a comfortable life instead of spending the rest of your life covered in mud. Mr. Headmaster, did I hear you right? Did you just say I'm going to die covered in mud? I didn't say that. I... This is the very job that brings food at your table, you idiot. Boys, Take him to the police for trespass. No. I'm going to open a police case against you for harassing and stalking me and my daughter. Now disappear before I come and beat the stupidity out of you. Can you hear me? Binta. My leg is hurting. Binta is here. We are at the hospital. You badly hurt your leg. They almost cut it off, but Dr. Najemba was your savior. It's fine now. I need to go see my bricks. Not now. I'll go get you something to ease that pain. Please ensure that he stays down. Save my bed for me. 
Yes, her name is Dr. Najemba Mildred. Please stand up for recognition. Also, I dedicate this degree to the lovely woman who believed in me the very first time I told her I wanted to be a doctor at the age of six. That is my dear mom. <laughs> Thank you very much. Our dear graduates, friends and family, we are glad to be with you here tonight as we celebrate the graduation of our children. I had my beliefs that educating a girl was a waste of time. But now I know because with equal opportunities, all children could become useful in our great nation. I'm so proud of you, my dear children. And I especially thank you, Dr. Bega, for insisting on realizing your dream. Raising voices because a violence free childhood is everyone's right. Raising voices.